Shalom, shalom, shalom. I want to give our praise. Glory and honor. So I say y'all by saying, hallelujah. Yahweh is the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The Elohim of Israel. The Holy One of Israel. The Savior and Redeemer of Israel. I'm Torah Tanakh, Old Testament. The Book of Life. The Book of Remembrance. Ten Toes Down. And we'll not talk about chosen ones, all the chosen elect and chosen remnant of Israel. I love you all. Stay strong. Keep your head up. Stay positive. Don't quit. Never give up. Stay the course to the end. And keep praising Yah all the way to the grave. All the way to the, all the way to the graveyard. Hallelujah. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back to another video, another video, another video. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Mikkel. Subscribe, like, comment, share, turn post notifications, and turn the bell. So it's time I drop in a little video. You'll be notified. So turn the bell. Ding, ding, ding. And if you like this video, then please give fat thumbs up. Ching, ching, ching. And I hope everyone is having a day of just reflecting back on how you've grown and evolved. I'm also having a day of reflecting back on how I've grown and evolved. And again, I appreciate all the love and support. And thanks again for tuning in with me on another video. <laughs> For today's topic subject, it just it's just it's going to be about me. I reacted to my first YouTube video. In this video, I'm going to be reacted to and giving my opinion on my first video on YouTube. This is the first video that I uploaded on YouTube. This is when I first started my channel, and I made my first video on YouTube. This when I started my spiritual journey this one i just take out my spiritual awakening and i just and i was beginning on my spiritual journey because it's titled my new spiritual journey okay so here we go hi everyone my name is mikhail i'm new to youtube I'm just starting up my channel. I'm new to my spiritual awakening. I just started my new spiritual journey. A brief background and description of me. I was raised as a Seventh Day Adventist. I was so nervous because I never thought that I could start a YouTube channel because I was not a good speaker. As you all know, I'm a stutterer. And back then, I stutter way more. I still stutter. If I'm not stutter, I'm, I'm going to never stop stuttering. I'm a person that I'm going to always stutter. But now my stutter is more controlled. I mean, my stuttering is less and it's more in control now. My speech has improved because some of my past videos, you can hear it more. And in my past videos, I will stop, pause, I will stop and take. I would, I would stop and pause long and would be talking sometimes too slow. But then my speech, it flows more. I don't pause as much. I'm faster and my speech, it flows more. And I'm more comfortable speaking and getting my words out. So I was, because I was a stutterer and was not a good speaker, I was like, I cannot start a YouTube channel. I have a stuttering problem. I have a speech impediment. I don't speak good. I was like, and I was like, I don't speak good. I don't have the right speaking voice. I don't, I was like, I don't have the right speaking voice. So I don't think I can get on camera and talk to people. I don't know if people are going to listen to me because of my stuff. I, I was like, I don't know if people is going to listen to me because I stutter. Because I'm not a good speaker. So people might not be interested 
and listening to me and can't even really can't even understand I can't understand what I'm trying to say and the spiritual message and the spiritual knowledge that I'm trying to project and get out to them. So I was very scared. And you see, I'm laying in bed. I was not even standing up. I was not sitting up, sitting down, or standing up. I'm laying in bed. I'm laying in bed <laughs> making this video because I was frightened, but I got my nerve up. I'm like, I'm not going to let fear hold me back. And I'm going to I'm start my spiritual journey as I'm going to be an entrepreneur. I'm going to I'm going to be a social media influencer, and I want to get out this spiritual knowledge. I want to share my spiritual journey with all the other chosen ones out there. I was like, I want to share my spiritual journey with all the other humans that's having a human experience. And I want to I'm be I want to be entrepreneur. I like want to be entrepreneur. I want to start a business. I want to get self employed. I want to get a revenue and generate um, a different streams of money. I, I, want, I want to generate more income and different streams of income and more revenue. So I faced my fear. My fear was speaking and talking on camera. So I faced my fear. Even though I was scared, frightened, and laying in bed, I still faced my fear. I picked my phone up. I picked my cell phone up and... I just started recording. I took a chance and just did it. I just went for it. I was raised in church all my life. But then I found out that this Christ stuff and this Yahweh stuff is not true. So I became a Hebrew Israelite. I thought that was the way. And then I found out that is not true. Um, other blacks in America with the Hebrew Israelites, and that's not true. I did more research, and I don't believe in that. I don't believe in it anymore. So now, I'm on to my new spiritual journey. I do meditation. I do sun gazing, mirror gazing, and moon gazing. And I opened up my seven chakras, I'm trying to manifest. Like I said, I'm still new to a lot of things. And during this time, I had, I lost my faith and belief in the Bible and the Old Testament and Yahweh's Word. So I went to the New Age Movement. I started my channel off as, as sharing my spiritual journey of me being in the New Age Movement. And and I st that's how I started. When New Age Movement was, I believe that, well... We are gods and goddesses, but I was not believing in the true creator of the Old Testament, of the Holy Bible, and the Holy Scriptures. I stopped believing in Yahweh, Yah. I stopped believing in the Most High. I, th I thought the creator was something else. They created us, and we just gods and goddesses, and we control everything in our life. And we control our whole reality and our total destiny. I, th I stopped believing in a false New Age movement. And a conscious community with with that with the Egypt and they can I stopped believing the Egypt and the Kemet stuff. So I stopped believing in in a conscious community knowledge and New Age movement and we gods and goddesses and we get all the power. All the power is within us. I stop believing in all of that. I forsook the Most High God of Israel, yeah, and I got out the out the Old Testament, out the Bible, out the out that was false, that was fake and made up. And so during this time, I I was lost. Then I came back into believing in the Old Testament again, and I and I became back a prophetess, teach read and teach a scripture. And trying to bring Israel, and trying to bring back the lost tribe, and trying to bring back the lost sheep of Jacob, and trying to bring them back into Israel, and bring them back to the Most High. I was trying to bring them back into the fold of the Most High, and then I, I backslid again because I was persecution. I was running from being persecuted. I'm still being, I'm still being persecuted heavily. I'm going through spiritual persecution. I'm still, I'm still being persecuted 
very heavily. I was still going through a lot of hard spiritual persecution. Yes, I'm still going through very hard spiritual persecution. I'm still going through it. So I backslid, then I came because I was like, I can't run from persecution. I was like, I gotta face it. I was like, I cannot turn my back on the most high. I can't just forsake him all because I don't want to be persecuted. So I was like, I got to face persecution and I got to stand tall and stand strong and stay strong. And I got to pass this test. I'm like, because this is a test that the most high is putting me through. So I, test, so I said to myself, I got to pass this test. I got to pass this test that the most high is putting me through. I got to pass it. Hopefully, hopefully after I pass this test, it will give me my reward <laughs> and bless me and bless me a little more than what I'm and bless me a little more than what I'm doing now and where I'm at now. I'm just trying to keep the faith, just trying to hold on, trying to hold hold on, just trying to hold on and keep the faith and trust in Him, and trying to stay loyal to Him and trustworthy to Him. In this video, I was a stuttering. During this time, I studied. During this time, my stuttering was worse. I studied more during this time. But in this video, I was a stuttering bad. I was talking smooth and good in this video. But it's like after this video, after it's like after this video, it's like a few more videos after this. That's when I started stuttering. That's when my stuttering became so heavy, and I was having a hard time with getting out my words, and I was ticking. I know y'all can the ticking sounds, the ticking noise that I was doing, that I was making. And I would get these bad headaches and my head would start hurting where, where my throat would just get stuck. My throat would get locked on me and stuck to where I could not get out my words. And I would hear these ticking sounds. But that was, that was part of the gang stalking. And those evil devils and demons were messing with my throat. Their clothes on my throat. So I could not speak well and make me stutter more, stumble and fumble. But I, I got some spiritual healing for that. I got some spiritual healing and I kept praying about it. And I kept going. I kept talking. I was I'm not going to let my stutter hold me back. So I did not I did not allow my stutter to hold me back. I kept going. I kept praying about it. I kept going and I kept talking. So eventually my speech improved. I speak I still stutter, but I speak better now. I don't get these these headaches with my I don't get these headaches anymore where my head start hurting and my throat is locked on me and I just can't and the words are just stuck in my throat and I can't get them out and the ticking noise is not is not as much and the ticking noise is not as much and, and loud like how it was at first the ticking noise is not as much and, it, and you cannot hear it as much as you could at first but I still talk to you fast because a lot of times I talk fast now and I got to slow down. A lot of times I got to slow down and I got to think about what I have to say first before saying it. Sometimes I still have to do that. But yeah, sometimes I'd be very cautious when I speak. I still have to be very cautious and careful when I speak because my stutter is always with me. It's going to always be with me. It's going to always stay with me. But I've learned that. But I'm glad that my speech has improved and gotten better. I'm glad that my speech. I'm glad my speech has improved and has gotten much better. And I speak more clearly, more freely. I'm more comfortable speaking now. I'm happy for that. But I'm going to do more research and continue reading. Like I say, I'll be back with more information and more videos. So please.
please subscribe. Like I said, I'm new. My channel new. Please give me a chance. Hit the like button and subscribe. I'll be back. Stay tuned. Have a nice day. I'm surprised I did that well. I ain't gonna lie because I was just so nervous that I was surprised that I did that well. Now, now that now that I'm back watching it, it wasn't too bad. I was just nervous. I was laying in bed and just nervous and scared to start a YouTube channel, scared to talk on a camera because of my speech impediment. But I'm glad that I started because if I did not, if I did face this fear, I would still be shy, fearful. And frightened to speak on camera, and I'll be, and I will not, and I will not be able to get the spiritual knowledge, and the spiritual information that I've learned. I could not share with other chosen ones. If I was so scared in a bubble, and just in a shell, and if, if I didn't come out, then I would not be able to share my spiritual journey, and help others with sharing my spiritual journey, and help others to get spiritual knowledge. And spiritual knowledge to help to improve and grow in our areas of their life. If I stay scared, I could not, I could not get the message out to help out. If I stay scared, I could not get the message out to help out other chosen ones and other chosen elect and chosen remnant of Israel. So I'm glad I stepped in my comfort zone, and I'm glad I bust out that shell and I and I bust out that bubble and I just went forward and did it. <laughs> I was a go get. I'm glad. I'm glad that. I'm glad that I just went for and did it. I'm proud of myself because I would still be that scared, frightened young woman, and I probably still be. I might still be stuttering more. <laughs> I might still be stuttering more and and scared, not comfortable to to come on camera and speak. I'd be scared to be seen on camera and not comfortable with speaking. On camera. Yeah, so I just wanted this fun video. I'm mean, gonna react to reviewing and giving my opinion on my first video that I uploaded on YouTube of my new spiritual journey of, of me just starting and beginning on my spiritual journey because I just had my spiritual awakening. I came from a break, I came from a bad breakup a bad breakup with one of my ex-boyfriends after that after that bad breakup with one of my ex-boyfriends that's when I had a spiritual awakening and I wanted to get on I want to come on video and share my spiritual awakening and, my, and share my spiritual experiences and spiritual knowledge that I was gaining and, and getting insight on. Yeah, I spoke of my ex-boyfriend in many of my past videos. I spoke of how he was. Yeah, but I'm not going to get into all that. That's, that's bridge over water and that's the past. The past is the past and you got to let go of the past and move on. You can't look back. You can't look back. You got to look forward, move forward, and stay forward. And hope and wish for the best for the future. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Chosen one, chosen like chosen remnant. That if y'all got a fear, be a go get and do it. Step out that comfort zone. Execute on your dreams. Don't let fear hold you back and stop you from doing what you want to do, achieve, and accomplish. And it's scary because in this video, I was scared. I know it's scary because me doing this, me starting a YouTube channel and being on camera, and making videos, I got to speak on camera. 
with a stutter. Well, I was scared. I know me being scared, it might not show in this video because I, I was, <laughs> I guess I was, I'm a good actress. I'm, I, I, I'm an actress anyway. I, I like acting, so I was being a good actress and hiding it. I was hiding my fears. I, I was hiding it. I was hiding my nervousness. In this video, when I was talking, my nervous was on the edge. I was so nervous, but I was hiding being nervous. If you're nervous, just hide it. Or if you can't hide it, just say, well, I'm new to this. I'm nervous. So, so please bear with me. If you're nervous, tell you, be open and honest and tell your audience, I'm new to this. So, please just bear with me. <laughs> As, as I try to get used to this, please bear with me as I start this and try to get used to this and get better at it. Just be open and tell your audience and smile and laugh about it because it's all right. In the end, everything is going to be all right. Everything is going to be fine. Okay, so all this video, I'm be sharing this, showing, showing where I started on YouTube on my first video to where I'm at now. I'm making YouTube videos. I'm less nervous. I'm much more confident. I'm much, I'm much more comfortable speaking on camera. See, I, I still talk too fast. Even though I still stutter, but my speech has improved. I stutter less. I stutter more in control. I've gained more fluency when I'm speaking on camera and making videos. So sometimes I still talk too fast, so I gotta slow down. And I gotta say it again, but that's all right. Cause I'm happy about the improvements that I made in my speech. I'm so happy, grateful, thankful about the improvements that the Most High has given me in my speech. I'm happy the Most High has gave me improvements in my speech. I'm happy, grateful, thankful for that. I'm happy, grateful, thankful for improvement in my speaking abilities. Yeah, so if y'all got a feel of this video, I encourage y'all to just be a go getter and get out that shell and bubble. Bust out that bubble and bust out that bubble and bust out that shell. And go after your dreams, goals, and desires. And just do it. Try to change try to attain, accomplish, and achieve. All your wish and wants. Just do it. Don't let fear stop you. Just go out and do it. Just and you ain't gotta be perfect and prepared, and you ain't got to know everything. Just get started. Research and learn the rest and improve as you go along later. Okay, and whatever journey. That you are starting and whatever you are doing, and whatever new endeavor you are trying to do and branch out in, just get started and with knowledge, and you get better at it and perfect your craft the more you do it. It's something in my mouth. Yeah, but when I get excited, I stutter more, so I have to calm myself down because when I get too excited, I, I start talking too fast and stutter even more. I have to tell myself, calm down. I have to calm my excitement down. I have to calm down so I can stutter less, speak slowly, and get it out to where it can be, to where I can be understood. I have to slow down and speak clearly to where I can be heard and to what I'm saying can be understood. And I slow down and speak clearly so so what I'm speaking and saying can be understood by my audience, by my subscribers, my followers, and my supporters. Okay, I'm a cow subscribe, like, comment, share, some post notifications, and turn the bell. So it's time to drop in a little video. 
you have been notified. So turn the bell, did it ding. And if you like this video, then please give Fat Thumbs Up. Ching, ching, ching. And I appreciate all the love and support. I will see you all in my next video. Enjoy the rest of your day. I reflected on how you have grown and evolved. I'm also going to enjoy the rest of my day of me. Reflected on how I have. See, I'm freaking, I'm stuttering again. I don't know why. It could be them, the direct energy weapons that the gang stalkers is, is used on me to make me stutter because these gang stalkers know that I um, have a speech problem at times. So these gang stalkers work on your problems to make it worse on you and make it act up on you more. So that's probably why I'm stuttering again. But I'm also having a day of me reflecting back on how I've grown and evolved. Stay strong. Keep your head up. Stay positive. Don't quit. Never give up. Stay the course to the end. Keep praising y'all all the way to the grave. All the way to the graveyard. Hallelujah. And I guess that bye, chosen ones. Bye, chosen, like chosen remnant of Israel. Bye, bye. And again, one well, love to all the chosen ones, all the chosen, like chosen remnant of Israel. I love you all. Again, one well, love, one well, love, I love you all. Hallelujah. Praise the mighty Yahweh. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Hold on. And stay strong. Peace. I'm out.